So we all know that the Orlando Magic completely had a fire sale at the 2021 trade deadline, trading away their three best players at this current moment with Nikola Vucevic going to Chicago, Aaron Gordon going to Denver, and Evan Fournier going to Boston. So the Magic are embracing the quote-unquote rebuild. I think they're more retooling because they do have a good young core or just some good young players at the moment with Jonathan Isaac, Marco Fultz, Cole Anthony, Chumo Kiki, Mo Bamba, Wendell Carter Jr. They definitely have a young core in place, and they're, it's looking like they're going to get a top five pick in this year's loaded top five 2021 draft so what is going on everybody how is everybody doing today well, yeah we're doing a 10-year Orlando magic rebuild today i was like i've been doing these 10-year rebuilds and they're super fun to do and i feel like it'd be perfect for the Orlando magic because they are rebuilding and we can kind of go through that rebuild and see how many titles we can win in this video so everybody is pretty much off the team i just want to make sure 2k updated it with the draft picks and oh wow they did not no surprise there so what we got to do is go to the trade sliders turn on trade override and turn off financial trade rules so we can get these accurate all right so i do need this 2025 first round pick from the denver nuggets and we'll give them this second round pick also we can do a three team trade with the bulls neither top five protected this year and their top five protected in 2023. Uh, beautiful, we could do that, and we are gonna get both those picks, and then we can make Denver send a second round pick to Chicago. Uh, so we will do that, and I think that is gonna be it, actually, no. We will also, oh my God, this is annoying, get two first round picks from the Boston Celtics, for Evan Fournier. For a second, I was like, oh, I thought Gary Harris was supposed to be on the Nuggets. I don't know. I was having a brain fart. But yeah, let me get uh two seconds. Let me actually see what yours, these second round picks are in. And these second round picks are, I don't know, or Wendo has also received a trade exception. We get Jeff Teague as well. Is Jeff Teague even on my team or did they waive Jeff Teague? They might have waived Jeff Teague. So I thought it was for two seconds. Either way, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It's only two seconds at the end of the day. So I'm going to get their second this year and their second year. Let me actually figure out the full details of this trade. Yeah, NBA.com has the two second round picks. Please tell me the years these second round picks are in. And it does not. Thank you, NBA.com. So I'm just going to take their 2021 and 2022 seconds. And I will give you a 2024 second round pick. So... Yeah, we're going to do that, and the trading is done. So we'll put financial trade rules on and trade over right off. So we are going to be playing Markel Fultz or Jonathan Isaac this year because Fultz is out for the remainder of the year, and uh, Isaac, we all know, is out as well. And then for the offseason, I think like Terrence Ross is definitely a big trade candidate then. So he's going to get like 28 minutes a night. I'd like to start Cole Anthony. He can get like 32 yeah, we can do 32. Uh, Chimo Kiki will start at the small forward position. We can have Otto Porter at the four. Porter will get like 25. Carter Jr., 32. Okiki can get 30. Uh, James Ennis, I mean, he can play like 10 minutes. I, I want to play the young guys a lot. Ken Birch, you can get like 10. Um, so Mo Bamba is also going to be getting 32 minutes. We are going to be playing him a lot as well as Wendell Carter and figure out who our franchise center is going to be, or at least the center for the next couple of years. And then um, I want to play Markel Fultz, or excuse me, RJ Hampton, 25 minutes a night. And then I think we are going to give the remaining 16 minutes to Gary Harris. I know Dwayne Bacon plays, but uh, I don't really need to play him. So we're going to give 16 minutes to Gary Harris. He will be under contract next year, correct? It's not an expiring. Yeah, it's going to be $20 million next year. Sheesh. All right. So, yeah, this is the team. Uh, we're going to be bad this year. I'm just hoping we're bad. Uh, we're probably going to go with the new head coach in the offseason. Like Steve Crawford, not a bad coach. Just I don't think fits the timeline or the uh, trajectory of this team. And I'll see you guys at the end of the first season. And let's hope we're bad where we can get a top five pick and end up with a Jalen Green or Jonathan Kaminga or an Evan Mobley or their Suggs and Cunningham. So we end season number one as the 14th seed in the Eastern Conference, which is perfect with me. We are going to have pretty good odds at getting a top five pick in the draft. I just wanted to see if we had anybody making our rookie team. Shout out to Cole Anthony. He averaged 23 points, four rebounds, and four assists. Okay, Cole. I see you, 33 from 380 from the line. I mean, not their best efficiency in the world, but I will take it in. RJ Hampton, 13 and a half points, 43 from the field, 29 from three, no Chumo Kiki there. Uh, like I said, 30 and 52, not, I thought honestly we were gonna win a little bit less. I thought we would win potentially 25 games at max. What picker we could have going into the lottery? Two, uh, three, four. Four. We're going to have four in the lottery. Chicago ended up making the playoffs with Vucevic, so that pick will be later in the first round. And we could take a look at who did well for us statistical-wise or stats-wise. Um, Cole, we kind of went over. Terrence Ross, helping out that trade value. Going to be trading him on draft night. He'll have two years left on the steal. Pretty solid contract for a wing scorer. RJ Hampton went over. Otto Porter, probably not going to bring him back. Going to go more with a... I mean, he's only 27 still. Uh, it feels like he's a lot older, right? But we'll see what we want to do with him. Wendell Carter Jr., shot 36 from three. Okay, 55 from the field, 12 and nine. Will bomb up at 11 points and nine rebounds. We're going to have to make a decision which 2018 top 10 pick center 
we want to fully commit to next offseason when they're both restricted free agents. Chumo Kiki, about 10 points, 3.7 rebounds, 2.7 assists. Not great efficiency from the field, but solid from the line and from three. And then there's Gary Harris, James Ennis, and Ken Birch. Nothing too crazy there. And then Fultz went down, um, or Isaac went down four overalls. Carter, why did you go down? I don't know. Uh, and Fultz went down three overalls. So let's see who wins the 2021 NBA Finals. So the Bucks won it all, and Giannis is your Finals MVP. They beat the Lakers in seven. I don't think we're going to really have anybody, anybody retiring on our team. Uh, we are going to reject all of these yeah we would add maybe an expansion team but uh when it comes up i mean we could always do that so lottery time please give me luck fourth projected pick just don't drop me to six or seven please all right so i know that the suns have moved into the top four which stinks because i just know we're gonna drop to six i really know oh my God. just don't drop me can we drop to seven i feel like we could drop to seven that means the wizards going to the top four. Oh my god we're gonna be seven Seven, really? That is so annoying. We end up with the seventh pick in the draft. Steve Clifford, gone. Mike Batiste, gone. It's a new era in Tyron Corbin, gone. It's a new era in Orlando. And we are going to look at Chauncey Billups to be the Magic's next head coach. Uh, did that say I can offer him? Uh, wow, he does not get blocked. So we pick up Chauncey Billups to be the next head coach of the Orlando Magic. Now, taking a look at uh, assistant coaches that could possibly be on the team, I would like to go after Chip Engeland. And then finally, actually, yeah, we signed Engeland. And then the last one will be Wyatt Zimmerman. So we picked that him up. And then we could just sign like the, I don't know, whatever CFO, the top guy right now, Cale Rogers, to a one-year deal. And we signed him six. So yeah, that is the new uh, coaching staff. We got Billups, Engeland, and Wyatt Zimmerman. Hopefully they can turn things around for us. So we are going to have Jonathan Isaac back next year. I mean, I wanted Jonathan Kaminga. Maybe he falls to seven, but I doubt it. Like looking at the mock drafts, Ah, Kaminga going four. That's who I really want. Like, Jaden Springer. I mean, we'll see who falls. We'll see who falls to us at seven. So, I mean, like, we do have draft picks. If we wanted to trade up, we have seven and 21 in this draft. Like, I don't know. If Kaminga falls to five, I will offer a trade. But if he doesn't, then I don't think I will. So, the Knicks take Evan Mobley at one. Moving on from Mitchell Robinson. If I already didn't have two setters on my team, I would trade for Mitch Rob. Kate Cunningham goes two. Kate Cunningham and Devin Booker in the Phoenix backcourt. It's very nice. Pistons on the clock at three, and they take PJ Boston, who will definitely not be going top three in real life. Uh, I don't know why, but like when I download this class, he's ranked like late teens, but I don't know why he always goes top five. So Wizards, you want to do me a huge favor and not take Jonathan Kaminga? I know, okay, they take Greg Brown. Wow, okay, so Thunder, I know you like your draft picks. I know you do. I know you do. So let's talk here. Let's do five, seven for five. I will throw in that Bulls pick in 20. Mm, uh, I'll throw in this Nuggets pick in 2025. And then I'll throw in, let's see, this second and this second and three seconds. So this is th two first to move up. This is to move up two spots. I mean, do I have to give up this second here or can I do uh, the 2025 first and two seconds? And okay, will the other second even get it done or not even close? All right. I mean, I don't think I have any players you want because you probably don't prefer Terrence Ross too much. I mean, like maybe they would like a, a Mo Bamba or a Wendell Carter Jr., I mean, Wendell Carter Jr. would be interesting because it's like, do I prefer Wendell Carter Jr. or Jonathan Kaminga? But no, we are going to just stay at seven and uh, see who falls to me there. So maybe Kaminga will fall. I mean, Suggs and Kaminga are still on the board. Uh, and there goes Kaminga. So I'm hoping this first. I mean, they take if they don't take Suggs, I got to take Suggs, right? Oh my God, we just have, okay, they take Suggs, so that's out of the equation. And Jalen Green is there. Now, I'm pretty sure in my 10-year Warriors rebuild, I got Jalen Green, so I don't really want to use Jalen Green again, so I'm not going to select him here at number seven, even though he's probably like the perfect pick for them in real life. I go Jaden Springer. I like Scotty Barnes, though. I did get Scotty Barnes in the Warriors rebuild. Isaiah Jackson could be somebody. Shreve Cooper. Like, I don't really want to go point guard. If I have Fultz and Cole Anthony and RJ Hampton, I don't even want to go guard. I don't know. Isaiah Jackson, the prototypical, like, potentially stretch for he's very comparable to like anthony davis size wise and athleticism wise coming out of kentucky definitely not as good we could go jalen johnson i mean we could also be a trade down team so like if we were to throw up seven on the block like i don't know who could potentially give me a deal like yeah i would love to get colin sexton for seven but why would the Cavs do that but are they i mean that did they already select uh the Cavs are at eight i mean that's probably not enough so like memphis at 13 would you give me your first round pick next year top five protected to move up six spots I mean, let's see, because I, I, I would definitely do this. I mean, I know this 2021 class is really good, but I wouldn't mind accumulating picks for later drafts. And they agree to that. Okay, so now we have another first round pick next year. Uh, we moved down a couple spots. Keon Johnson goes. The Warriors have two first round picks. I guess it's Minnesota's pick. So the Cavs trade the eighth overall pick for Rozier and a lottery pick. Okay, 
All right. I don't know if I would, but Jalen Green goes there. I mean, yeah, I'd probably prefer Jalen Green over Terry Rozier in a first long term, so I do like that trade for the Hornets. Let's see who the Warriors take. Isaiah Jackson, damn, I was hoping he would fall to me at 13. And then Jalen Johnson goes, uh, what is that, uh, 10? Uh, 11. Oh, no, yeah, he was 10. And then 11 is Jaden Springer. We'll see who the Thunder take at 12. And then we'll be on the clock at 13 with a couple potential options. Please take Kofi Cockburn because, oh, they trade the pick. Who did they trade the pick to? The Miami Heat for Miles Bridges and Nick Richards. So it's the Heat's first round pick. So the, the Hornets trading uh, Terry Rozier, trading Miles Bridges. And now they are going to add Scotty Barnes and Jalen Green to their team. They saw my 10-year uh, Warriors rebuild, and they're like, all right, we need to do what he did. So we uh, got up for some pick later on. I mean, Cam Thomas is a good shooter. Like I said, I didn't really need a guard. Isaiah Jackson is who I really wanted. I don't want JRE. Uh, I mean, Cam Thomas is somebody I'm eyeing out of LSU. The really good shooter there. Uh, and can potentially replace Terrence Ross down the line. So, I mean, James Booknight is also there. Just got him in my Drummond Lakers build. So, yeah, you know what? I'm going to get Cam Thomas. I'm a big fan of him out of LSU. He's really just a shooter. But, I mean, like, we were this bad just to add a shooter, I know, right? But I like him on the team. He could potentially start at the shooting guard position next year. We are also going to be trading our 2022 second. Just kidding. I don't want to do that. I will trade this second and both the Celtics seconds. And I'm going to be trading Terrence Ross to the Blazers for CJ Ellaby and a 2024 first round pick that's unprotected from them. So yeah, we uh, are going to get a pick or a first round pick in three drafts. So no, but hey, the Blazers could be bad that year and we might end up with a top 10 pick we forgot about. All right. And then we had two second round picks. Uh, one is Kobe Cockburn. I don't think I'm bringing back both Mo Bamba and Wendell Carter Jr. next year. So he will be probably the starting center uh, going 22, 20 or 2022 on. So he won't be a center next year in well the 2022 season. So 2023 on, he will be the backup center, uh, whoever we choose. Mac McClung was also our second round pick. We are going to be picking him up. So uh, yeah, we got Kofi Cockburn in the uh, Vucevic trade. That's the first kind of pick domino. Dwayne Bacon, we are not going to pick up his option. I just don't think he would find a spot on the team. Qualifying offers, going to offer none of those there. So looking at the potential team next year, let's see how many guys we have. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we have a good amount of guys where I don't think I'm going to sign anybody in free agency. Uh, and our free agents, Porter, Ennis, and Bacon, yeah, I'm not going to bring back. So we will just kind of renounce the rights on everybody at the moment. Evan Fournier is going to sign with the Dallas Mavericks, it looks like. That's actually a pretty good pickup for them if they were able to land him in real life. He would be a good floor, space, floor spacer for uh Luka Doncic, he gets a three-year deal from them. So taking a look at player progression, Isaac will be our starting, I think, four next year. And everybody's progressed, which we really like to see. I don't know what the starting five exactly is going to look like because Cole Anthony had a good year. I kind of want to start him, but I feel like we should be paying or playing Markel Fultz because we paid him a lot of money in the 2020 offseason. So I'll, I'll figure it out. We do have two training camps, though. I do want to send who to on potential. So actually, nobody's A+. Plus. So I want to send, oh, wait, was Isaac A+. Plus? I thought it said A-. minus. I'm dumb. And then I'm going to send... Mm, we'll send Cam Thomas there. Sure. So here's going to be the starting five. Marco Fultz, Cam Thomas, Isaac, Okiki, and Wendell Carter Jr. With Bamba getting the same amount of minutes as Wendell Carter Jr., Cole Anthony, RJ Hampton, and Gary Harris off the bench. Cockburn will not be playing. McClung and Elby, but Cockburn will be the... Uh, the backup center next year. System proficiency under Chauncey Billups is going to be three stars. And that will be it for me now. We'll see if we're bad this season. We do have our first round pick. Only one first round pick in this draft. Oh, no, yeah, the Grizzlies pick. Top five protected. Would be amazing if it was six. I don't know. Uh, so I'll see you guys at the end of the year. And I don't know if we're going to be good or not. Probably not going to be that good. So at the end of season number two, we finished up as the ninth seed in the Eastern Conference. So we almost made the playoffs, actually. And could have drafted the rookie of the year. Nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, Chris Paul obviously backing up Cade Cunningham, man. I'm okay with not making the playoffs, but we definitely saw some improvement this year. We won 30 games last year. We can take a look in a second how many games we won this year. Uh, Jonathan Isaac goes back to his all defensive weights. Let's go. 18 points, seven and a half rebounds, two assists, just under two steals, two and a half blocks, 38 from three, 80 from the line. That could have been most improved player. I think it went to DeAndre Aiden, but it could have been wrong. And then all rookie first team, nobody but Cam Thomas on all rookie second team. We went from 30 wins to 41 wins. So that is incredible improvement. The Memphis Grizzlies did make the playoffs. So the first round picks will be a little bit later. So we had five guys score over 13 points. Uh, we already went over Isaac Cole Anthony. I think he's going to be like a perfect sixth man for us, at least for the next two years on his contract. 39 from three, 87 from the line, 16 points, three and a half assists. Markel Fultz, 16 points and seven assists. 51, 31, 78 splits. There's Carter Jr., 14 and 9. Okay, so unless we jump from like 14 to 1, which is not happening. I was like, if I ended up with number 1 and I was going to take Chet Holmgren, then I'd let both uh, both of them walk. But I feel like I got to bring back either Wendell Carter Jr. or Mo Bamba. And I'm leaning towards Carter Jr. I am. And like, he was the main player 
in the Vucevic trade. I'm surprised they didn't want like maybe marketing or maybe the Bulls didn't want to give up marketing. But uh, yeah, since he was like the main player in the mark or in the Vucevic trade, we can commit to him commit to him long term. Cam Thomas, 14 points and five assists, shot 36 from three, 90 from the line. Chumo Kiki, 13 points, 4.4 rebounds, 39 from three, 81 from the line. Okay, Chuma, I see you. Uh, Mo Bamba, we kind of already went over him, but he averaged about 12 and 10. Almost little two blocks. RJ Hampton, 12 points, 5 rebounds, 3 and a half assists, 35 from 3. And then Gary Harris, 3 points a night. Sick. And the Bulls win it all in year 2. Would you look at that? Zach Ovid, your finals MVP. Swept the Mavericks, and they already got their ring with Nikola Vucevic. That is pretty cool. So it is draft lottery time, and we will have... Most likely the 14th pick in the draft. Uh, we should have got the Jazz pick from the Grizzlies. That's where I messed up. Yeah, I should have did that instead of the Grizzlies pick. So uh, we are going to be having pick 14 in this draft. Rockets end up one. Jazz at four. I think their pick was top four protected. Or it could have been lottery. So we have our pick at uh, 16. And then we also have the Grizzlies pick at 22. So the Bulls won it all. I mean, we have their first round pick next year. Top five protected. So probably not going to be great. Going to keep the coaching staff the same. I think we could definitely have playoff aspirations in our possibilities of a season next year. So uh, draft night, we have 14 and 22. Don't think I'm going to make any trades. So let's just take who we think's best player available at those two selections. So wrapped up my first round selections. And then we also got two second round picks. So first one is Kendall Brown. He's currently the 20th ranked ESPN high school prospect. He's supposed to go to Baylor. He has already signed with Baylor actually. And then we got DJ Carton at 22. I was a huge fan of him at Ohio State. He transferred from Ohio State to Marquette. And we um, would take him. He would be a junior at this case. Daron Sharp from UNC, just another big second round pick. And Miles McBride, point guard. Um, he We also got him in the Warriors rebuild. He probably won't play much for us, though. So we're picking up the team options on Cole Anthony, Chumo Kiki, RJ Hampton. Mac McClung, I'm not going to pick him up because I'm not going to play him. I actually like DJ Carton over him. So either way, not going to play him. Qualifying offers, we got to see uh, Wendell Carter Jr. get the qualifying offer. Why doesn't Mo Bamba have one? Huh. So you're telling me Mo Bamba's going to be... Wait, where is Mo Bamba? I already know 2K kind of messed up. I don't know why I'm doing this. Can I just go to my roster? Why is Mo Bamba under contract for another year? I'm so confused. Okay, he should have been a free agent. So does this make this decision process easier? Do we let go of Wendell Carter Jr.? No, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to probably match Wendell Carter Jr.'s deal, and we are going to look to trade Mo Bamba. The uh, Sheck West train here in Orlando is unfortunately over. I want to see if the Pelicans would give me two first round picks from Mo Bamba, mainly a swap though. So it's a pick and a swap with the uh, Milwaukee Bucks and then the Pelicans 2025 unprotected first. And they agree to that. So yeah, we've been getting a lot of first round picks in this video, trading away guys like Mo Bamba, Terrence Ross, our pick in 2021. So we have two first round picks next year, three in 2024. And then we will also have a couple in 2025 um, as well. We will have three in 2025. So yeah, we are definitely locked up long term, locked up long term. So let me just see how many guys we have on our roster at this moment. Six, seven, eight, and then most likely Carter Jr. will be nine. So yeah, I'm going to not match. I mean, I'm just going to wait a little bit and then most likely offer him a deal. So yeah, I'm going to read out sorry, it's on everybody but Carter Jr. And then hope I can get him for like sub 20 mil. Right now it's at 25, a little much for me. All right, so Wendell Carter Jr. has six offers. Um, nothing too crazy. It's only down to 24 mil. Oh, that's not as much. Like, I wanted to get it below 20. What? Like, it's expected 22 mil. All right, let me do one more day. And, yeah, it's 21.83, and then I go here. 26 mil. I'll give you a four-year deal, a five-year deal, Wendell Carter, but would you do it for 24 mil? And I'll front load that. Would you do that? Okay, he might. So, yeah, we pick him up on that deal. 24 mil a year, and it's a front load. So, let me just see where it ends up later in the contract. So, it will go from 24 to 19 mil by his age 27 season. Not too bad. I'll take that. Player progression, seeing all green as expected. Training camps, we do have two. I want to send, I don't even know. I think Markel Fultz to perimeter shooting. And then I'm also going to send Jonathan Isaac to perimeter shooting. So, here's the starting five. It's the same as last year. The bench will be Cole Anthony, RJ Hampton, Kendall Brown, and uh, Kofi Cockburn. So, our last two players in the rotation are current rookies under... Chauncey Belts' balance system, three and a half stars, very nice. Okay, so let's hope that this team can keep progressing and make the playoffs in season number three. So we finished the season as the 10 seed. Damn, we didn't make the playoffs this year. Jonathan Isaac wins defensive player of the year, though, has a career year, was phenomenal. Was he an all-star this year, too? Um, He was not. Wait. Oh, he did win defensive player of the year last year. Oh, wow. I completely went over that. I apologize. <laughs> and he... Um, I thought he was going to win most improved, but yeah, he won defensive player of the year. He was great this year. Bull Bull most improved. Uh, but yeah, that is a disappointing finish to the season. Uh, as we could see, Kendall Brown made all rookie second team. 
Okay, was not bad. Uh, and then any other awards, I'm sure we'll see. Obviously, Isaac on all defensive first team. He does not make an all NBA team. Damn, we won 38 and 44. We won three less games this year. So yeah, we still have yet to make the playoffs in this video. Uh, maybe we got to make a trade in the offseason. I don't know. Like having Fultz and uh, Cole Anthony could be kind of contradicting to itself. Like Cole Anthony's going to want like 30 mil a year next year. So maybe we make a big trade involving Cole Anthony and like RJ Hampton, who will also be a free agent. Wendell Carter Jr. Average a double-double, 2.2 assists, 67 from the field. Chimo Kiki having another solid year. I mean, he doesn't shoot well from the field. He will be actually, I think, a free agent in the offseason. Uh, oh, no, he has a team option. Okay, so... Yeah, I don't know. We might trade him, RJ Hampton, or Cole Anthony because we can play guys like, not Kyle Guy, but uh, DJ Carter next year. And then obviously I would make a trade for a player that could play for us now. Maybe it's a power forward to put between Isaac and Carter Jr. Maybe it's a guard to put in between Fultz and Isaac. The Hawks do win it all. Trey Young is your finals MVP. Beat the Blazers in six. Good thing I have their first round pick next year, not this year, because obviously it'd be like pick 30. I don't know if the, uh, or it'd be pick 29. Did the Bulls make the playoffs? I didn't really check. And they didn't. Oh, wow. Okay, so we hope they fall out of the top five because then we can get another top 10 pick. So draft lottery time. Let's see where it's going to be at. Our pick is going to be at 11. And then we hope that Bulls pick. Just don't give me any luck. Please don't give me any luck. And that Utah pick is also going to be in the top 10 that the Grizzlies own. So yeah, I should have traded for that pick instead of their pick when I traded down in 2021. So our pick is at 11. We don't get lucky with our original pick. And like for once, I want to see my name not moved up. So we don't fall to eight. Uh, Let's just hope we're there at seven. Please, 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 please. No, they move up. Really? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, and it's into the top four, damn it. Oh, you're kidding me, they end up at three, so I don't get to keep it because it's it's originally top four protected in real life, but you can't do that on 2K. So we have picks 11 in this draft. Do we have anything else? No, wait, we, we only have one first round pick, damn. Just one pick, and that is at 11. So that Bulls pick will be unprotected next year. Maybe they'll be really bad. I don't know. Vucevic will be a free agent. Do we make a trade? I don't know. Like, imagine we were able to add Imani Bates to this team. Like, that would have been amazing. So... I mean, I could just roll Isaac at the four and start Kendall Brown at the three. I mean, we can't even move guys like Cole Anthony or anybody like that now because they all have team options. So, yeah, I guess I'm just going to make my pick at 11. All right, I'm going to take Brandon Huntley Hatfield, who is currently the fourth uh, prospect on ESPN's rankings for the 2022 class. Uh, he is not committed yet. He's been looked at by a couple schools, though, actually a bunch. It's schools like Auburn, Florida State, Florida, Louisville, Kentucky. But yeah, we are going to take him here at 11. Maybe he could be our franchise power forward. I don't know. But we do got to make a decision down the line eventually. I'm just going to take, uh, who do I want? We'll take, I guess, Juju Murray here. Uh, in the second round. Not a bad pick for the 23rd ranked prospect. Yeah, like imagine Jalen Duran. Oh my God, Armani Bates. If we were able to get them, that would have been sick. Juju Murray's is actually 76 overall. Very nice. But yeah, we're going to pick up the options on all these guys. How did Kofi Cockburn do actually last year? All right, he's got to stop taking threes. I got to change his shot tendency. We're going to pick up the options on these guys now. Free agency, like, or like trade market. If I wanted to trade my first round pick next year, top 10 protected, and then we look to trade Cole Anthony and RJ Hampton, what could I get? All right, none of these offers look that enticing to me. Like, I would like a Kung Wu, but like, wouldn't really make a lot of sense. I would want like a more proven player, and I'm not really getting offered that. Like, OG and Anobi, proven player, but I don't think he makes us that much better. So... Yeah, I might trade RJ Hampton, but keep Cole Anthony. Actually, let me see how many guys we have on our roster. Uh, so I'm not going to offer any of those guys qualifying offers. And do we have any free agents of our own? Um, no, and I don't think we're in a position to sign a free agent. So we have, what, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven guys that I want to get minutes to next year. I wouldn't mind trading one player, and I guess that could be RJ Hampton. Oh, I feel like he could have been a really good player for us, though. Um, or maybe it's Shimo Kiki. Do I trade Chuma? He's in the final year of his deal, and so is uh, so is RJ Hampton. All right, I'm going to see if the Pacers will do this trade. RJ Hampton for a 2025 first and a 2027 first unprotected. Boom, they do that. RJ Hampton, he was a good player for us, but I want to kind of give DJ Carden some minutes um, and then kind of roll with some other guys as well. We're not going to sign any free agents, so it wasn't that big of an offseason. So Kofi Cochran's up to an 88 overall since we're a very young team. A lot of green. So we do have two training camps. I'm going to send, is Kendall Brown A+. Plus? He is A+. Plus. I'm going to send Fultz to Untapped Potential where he will go up to an A+. Plus and Wendell Carter. 
he does not go up to an A+. All right, so here is the 10-man rotation. It's going to be Fultz, Thomas. We're going to start Kendall Brown, Jonathan Isaac, and Wendell Carter Jr. We took Brown, what, 14th? And then the bench will be Cole Anthony, Chumo Kiki, Kofi Cockburn, Brendan Huntley Hatfield, and DJ Carton. Both these players will be rookies going into next year's season. We'll see how they do. System proficiency is still three-star balance, or excuse me, three-and-a-half star. Uh, Kendall Brown's kind of holding us back a little bit, but not really. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Hopefully, this is the first year that we can make the playoffs. If not, a big trade will be coming in the offseason. So we finished the season as a three seed, but like right after the trade deadline, we were like the ninth seed. So we, I guess, had a good end to the season. Isaac takes home, I believe, his third straight defensive player of the year award. Yeah, he is a stud. And Kendall Brown, most improved. We might have found our franchise small forward, potentially. Here is All-NBA first team. All-NBA, well, I don't know why it's good to third team, second team. Okay, did we get Isaac on All-Defensive first team? But that is it. I want to get somebody on an All-NBA team for once. So finishes the three seed, taking on these six-seeded Pistons in round one. Killing Hayes and Fred Van Vliet is their backcourt. They have BJ Boston, who's been, oh, well, that's why they took him. Oh, uh, we marked and Isaiah Stewart. Gobert, Bridges, Graham, Sadiq Bay, and Kai Jones. Oh, I also re-signed Marco Fultz to a contract extension for about four years, and I thought that was a steal of a deal because, like, he's putting up really good numbers as our starting point guard. I mean, oh, he, he was putting up, like, 19 and 7 when I signed him to that. And he finished with about 16 and 8. You know what? 37 from 3. I'll take that. Yeah, definitely worth it. He's 26. Uh, we went over Isaac Cole at 17 points, 4 assists, 39 from 3. Maybe I should have went with him as my franchise point guard. Probably not going to match any deal he gets in the offseason or just do a sign and trade. Kendall Brown was very efficient in his like first year as a starter. Cam Thomas, 16 and a half points, 38 from 3, 52 from the field. He's been good for us. Wendell Carter Jr., 13 points and 9 rebounds, 60 from the field, 2 and a half assists. Uh, Chumo Kiki potentially in his last year as a magic uh shoots 47 from three okay Kofi Cockburn oh I forgot to and there's like Huntley Hatfeld uh and we'll give these guys some playoff experience I forgot to change um Kofi Cockburn's shot tendency from because I know he's got what's a shot three tendency and a 63 when he can't hit them yeah I'm putting it to a 10 all right so in our first playoff series of the video this is what year three or is this year four is this year? F I think this is actually year four, but I always lose track. So let me actually figure this out. This is year four. Yeah. All right. Year four. First playoff experience. We uh, win game one and lose game two. We won by 16 in game one. Cole Anthony, man. Oh, he's so good. He's so good. I don't want to let him walk, but he I can't pay him like my sixth man 30 mil a year. I can't. As we take a 2-1 lead on the Pistons. Okay, BJ Boston, whatever. Uh, Cole Anthony drops 27. Isaac with 22. Fultz with a double-double. On to game four, and they tie it up 2-2. Two two, a high-scoring game. They end up winning by seven. Okay, Cole Anthony has been like our leading scorer in the playoffs. <laughs> and I'm going to let him go for nothing. I can't let that happen. I don't know. We're down 3-2. to two. Great. We end up losing by 30. Kendall Brown drops 22, but BJ Boston is so good. What? What? Like, what? Like, he's not even going to be a first-round pick in real life, probably. And we lose in six. All right. We lose by four. What? 52. What? Oh, my God. Whatever, man. Whatever. Cole Anthony, two for ten. All right. Jeez. Okay, so who's our leading scorer in the playoffs? Cam Thomas had 19 efficiently. Kendall Brown didn't shoot great from three. Isaac, he was all right. Uh, Carter Jr. did well. I mean, Cole Anthony was our winning scorer. And it's a first-round exit to a sixth seed who ended up going to the conference finals. The Hornets beat the Blazers in the championship. Lamella Ball's your finals MVP, so that pick's not going to be good. I think we have the Pelicans first-round pick, though. Could be something. So LeBron retires. Kyle Lowry, Kevin Love. A lot of players retiring there. Stafford Timon, still be on our team. Hall of Fame. LeBron's going to make the Hall of Fame? I don't know about that. Uh, he gets his jersey retired by three teams. And we are going to reject all of these. Yep. And then let's go to the lottery. So are we going to be in the lottery at all? Let's see. Wow. Chicago is going to be a top seven pick because it's unprotected. So we're getting it no matter what. Uh, I thought we had the Pelicans pick. But I guess that is next year. So, yeah, it's 2025, I think, and this is for Damn. So we missed out on that pick by a year. And let's see what happens. Can we get lucky? Wow. Oh, no, we do get the Pelicans pick. Wow. Was it top three protected? Like, why did it not say that we were going to get it? So we have picks four and five in this draft. We also have 25 and 29. Four first-round picks. Do we make a trade? I'm going to sign Tyler Rich, uh, Richard as my trainer so we can get three training camps. Let's go to the 2024 NBA draft. This is like the Mikey Williams class. So I guess if I got Mikey Williams, that would make me feel better about losing Cole Anthony. I mean, Jalen Lewis, DJ Wagner. Like, we're going to get one of these four players. Like, Bronny, Mikey, DJ Wagner, and Jalen Lewis. Now, I'm pretty sure, like, ESPN has a couple of these guys on their recruiting board. Yeah, they only, I think, have... 25 and LeBron or Bronny James is 25. Uh, Mikey Williams is five. DJ Wagner is one. Jalen Lewis is two. Is there a Matt Buley? Uh, he, he's number 
three, and then Bayfall is number four with Mikey being at five and Javante Taylor being at six on ESPN Sport. Okay, so we could make a trade up to get like DJ Wagner. I mean, we do have uh, multiple picks. So what I'm going to do is trade five, 25, and 29 to for two. And I think the Tim Wolves should do that. You get two other first and uh, let's see uh, if they would do this. If they don't, then I'll do four instead. And they should do that trade and they do not. I'm not giving you uh, another first. I'll give you... Um, yeah, we have like no seconds in the future. I mean to get like DJ Wagner and Mikey Williams like definite We should give up a pick So what I'm gonna do is put a uh, protection on my first I'll pick next year It's gonna be water protected. Hey, if it's 28 and we're really good 27. I'm fine with that So, uh, can we do that with pick five or does it have to be pick four? Okay, it looks like it has to be pick four and they agree to that So now we have picks two and five in the draft Let's see who we take. And Jalen Lewis goes number one overall. Okay, I actually wouldn't have mind Jalen Lewis uh, if we took him at two. So I think I'm going to take DJ Wagner here. And it's going to be interesting with him and Fultz, but uh, we're going to run into that problem when he's a free agent. So yeah, we're going to take DJ Wagner. At the moment, we don't know where he's going, but he's the number one prospect in 2023. And he has not visited any schools yet. Welcome to the team, DJ Wagner. And I'm hoping Mikey Williams or Bronny or Bayfall are there at five. I mean, one of them will be. So Ryan Buley goes, what is that? Three? Yes. Yeah, so we'll see if the team will take it four. Uh, we're going to end it with Bronny or Mikey Williams. And I guess we will take them. Damn. I mean, uh, wow. So both are on the board. Okay. I've definitely got Bronny in a rebuild before. I was like wondering, like, what could I get for Waddle Carter Jr. at five? Like, could I get an elite center? Uh, D'Lo, not an elite center. Jalen Lewis, but not mind him. Rudy Gobert, not really who I'd want. All right. Not really getting any center offers that are like elite, elite centers. Like nobody too much better than Waddle Carter Jr. So we're probably going to lose Cole Anthony. Probably going to lose... Shumo Kiki. I mean, I want to play DJ Carden. So I guess, yeah, we're really building this team through the drift. We could go for Matt Buley over Mike e. Williams. I mean, do we really need another guard? That's the thing. Like looking at our team, uh, like who's under contract, we already have two point guards and like Cam Thomas is a shooting guard. And do we think Mikey e. Williams could be a two? I mean, maybe and he could replace Cam Thomas if we don't want to pay him. And he's listed as a shooting guard. So you know what? I'm going to take Mikey Williams. Does he have any visits at the moment? I do want to kind of see he's the fifth ranked prospect on ESPN. He has a bunch of visits from Alabama State, Arizona State, Hampton, Kansas, Memphis, NC Central, San Diego State, Tennessee State, Texas Southern, and USC. So a lot of like under the radar schools. But welcome to the team. Mikey Williams. So Wagner 81, Williams in 80, and that might be the last real draft class we have. These guys are going to be studs for us. Um, and yeah, we got lucky with those picks. And we are going to have a bunch of first round picks later on. So this has really been a build through the draft, like rebuild. I'm going to offer Cole Anthony and Okiki the qualifying offers and uh, De'Ron Sharp, but I don't really plan on bringing them back if they get big deals because of the rookies we just took. So uh, let's see, do they have any offers right away? No, I'm surprised Cole Anthony doesn't. So uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm not gonna renounce the rights on them just yet. So they don't have any contracts yet on day three of free agency. None at all, actually. So we'll see if they even get a contract um, offer from any team where we would have to match it. I mean, for the qualifying offer, it's such a good contract, but I don't think I'm gonna bring them back on the qualifying offer. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna go in a different direction. We're gonna renounce the rights on, um, not De'Ron Sharp because we could use him uh, going forward if we get his bird rights next year. So yeah, we'll see if Cole Anthony or um, or Chimo Kiki sign anywhere. Cole Anthony, I mean, we haven't passed his name yet. He is not signed anywhere. Damn, okay. So uh, De'Ron Sharp comes back on the qualifying offer. Let's see if there was any buzzer beater signings. So if we take a look at Cole Anthony to see what team he's on, he is on, he got a one-year deal from the Kings. Okay. And then let's see where Okiki ended up. He might not even have ended up on a team. He did not end up on a team. He shot 47 from three last year. What? So we will have three training camps. I just want to see who's A plus and who's not. Uh, we could send Wendell Carter Jr. up to an A plus. Beautiful. Cam Thomas will be the starting shooting guard. So we're going to send him. Oh, he's not to an A plus. All right. And then who's not an A plus still? Uh, Cam Thomas, Daron Sharp. I will send DJ Carton there. So the game already wants me to start DJ Wagner and... Uh, and Mikey Williams, yeah, no, we, we're not doing that already. So uh, we'll have Cam Thomas there. Why would we bench Isaac? I mean, Humley Hatfield, like, we have a, like, good core. Like, I don't know, like, Brown, like, we could honestly roll out, like, our whole rookie team. Like, or just, like, our non-starters from last year. Like, we could have Wagner, Williams, Brown, I mean, he was starter, so never mind. Homie Hatfield and Cockburn, and we'd still probably be a really good team. So Wagner's going to get 25, Hatfield 25. Oh, yeah, no, Cockburn's going to get, like, 18, 17. Yeah, he still has two years left on his uh, rookie deal. So uh, 
We want to give Carter Jr. 30 minutes. We want to give Isaac 33. We want to give Kendall Brown 31. Cam Thomas should get a little bit more. And yeah, I got to figure this out. So I don't think DJ Carton's actually going to play for us, unfortunately. So we are going to roll with Cockburn as our ninth man. Uh, Williams will get 25. I mean, and yeah, we really can't do this. So uh, Cam Thomas is going to get like 26 minutes a night. And then Fultz 28. And now I got to go 29 to Carter Jr. We're going to go 23 and then 24. And then that should be enough for me to play Fultz. Yeah, 32 minutes a night. Okay, system proficiency is going to be four stars. Uh, who is a free agent coming up uh, by any chance? So if we take a look at our finances, uh, Jonathan Isaac will be a free agent this year. Will be a big decision. Cam Thomas. Cam Thomas and Cockburn could not be coming back. I don't know. We'll see. I'm hoping this team can win a playoff series this year, though. So we finished the season with our best record yet, most likely, because we are the one seed in the Eastern Conference. Cade win then wins MVP. Bronny and OKC, rookie of the year. Russ, six man of the year in Chicago. Isaac takes home another defensive player of the year. He wanted to test free agency, though. So I don't know. We have a lot of good young talent. Could this be Isaac's last year on the Magic? I don't know. Because Kendall Brown, all NBA second team, 20 points, six rebounds, five assists, 57, 43, 89 splits in his third year. Yeah, like he could be our franchise guy. I don't know. Isaac, all defensive first team. Isaac is so good, though. Maybe I do regret giving Fultz the extension. Uh, because maybe I shouldn't have gave that. I just saved it for um, Jonathan Isaac, whose relations are lit. I don't know how Kofi Cockburn's in 92 overall when I have yet to start this guy. It's 2 case progression system. So Brown is in scoring. Isaac was second. Cam Thomas third, followed by Fultz, Williams, Wagner, Humley Hatfield, Carter Jr., and then uh, Kofi Cockburn. So we had eight double-digit scores. We're taking on the eight-seeded Wizards in round one. We have J.D. Davidson out of Alabama, Bradley Beal still, DeAndre Hunter, Greg Brown, Andres Pashnik, James Harden off the bench. At age 35, Victor Oladipo, Denny of Dia, Derek Whitehead, Grant Williams, and Tyrell Terry. Please tell me we're going to get our first playoff series victory, and we sweep them at that. That's what I'm talking about. Here are the player stats. Kendall Brown might be, might be our franchise guy. He might be. We're taking on the reigning NBA champion, Atlanta Hawks. Let's see if we can beat them and go to the conference finals here in year five. Or is this, yeah, year five. So we're, we're going to be halfway down at the end of this year. And we are 8-0 and oh in the playoffs. Let's go. Here are the playoff numbers throughout the first two series. Mikey Williams. I don't know. Cam Thomas might not be back next year. And Mikey Williams might be the starting shooting guard. I don't know. Here are the New York Knicks. They have a good young team with Mobley, Barrett, Hardy, Knicks. Barrett's, what, 25? Okay. Um, they've Nurkic, down, Cruz, Elijah Fisher, and Sky Clark. Are we going to the NBA Finals? And we are. We win in seven. Let's go. And we are taking on the Memphis Grizzlies. Here in the NBA Finals, we've got Ja Levine, Keon Johnson, Marvin Bagley, Victor Wembanyama, Brandon Clark, Jeremy Graham, Desmond Bain, and Jonas Valanciunas. Game one, we win. Game two, we win. And it's looking like we can win our first championship in year number five. Let's go. I'm being so cocky right now because we could definitely blow a 3-1 lead. And because we are going to a game six, so... We're just one game away from going to a game seven. And not a great start to game six. I was too cocky. Yep, that was too cocky. We're going to a game seven. Oh, great. Oh, great. I was so cocky there, and I'm going to deserve every bit of this, don't I? Okay, no, we're doing well. Great first half, and it's looking like we're going to be winning the NBA Finals. All right, Kofi Cockburn's in. I don't know why. So, uh, let's see. Marvin Bagley driving, and he's going to get that layup. I mean, we're going to be up by, what, 19 at the moment. Fultz is in. Who else we got? DJ Wagner. Um, he's probably so good. Oh, my God, he is so quick. Holy crap, yeah. He's so good. Um, Mikey Williams has 25 points. He's in at small forward. Like, that's probably our future backcourt. Mikey Williams and DJ Wagner. Um, and then Fultz, like, I don't know. Maybe we trade Fultz at some point. Isaac with a double-double. Maybe it's an end of an era. We get the title, but then we move in a different direction with a, a little bit of a younger core. Like, we've had a young core, but maybe we just roll with, like, I don't know, a Fultz, Mikey Williams backcourt next year. We have Kendall Brown at small forward. Brandon Huntley Halffield at the four. And then maybe... I don't know, Kofi Cockburn at the five. Now we could probably still roll with Wendell Carter Jr. But I would like to keep Jonathan Isaac, honestly. Like, he's such a good defender. Kick that to Wagner. Wagner inside. Easy money. He's got 23. John Moran driving. Oh, that would have been... Oh, Kofi gets the block. Okay. And we win it all in year five. And Kendall Brown wins finals MVP at age 22. Okay. This might be a new era of Orlando basketball. So we have some big decisions to make in this offseason. Well, nobody made it to the Hall of Fame. Like Mike Conley, best player to pretty much retire. So do we have any picks in this draft order? I did see our team name. And there we are at 11 from Indiana. Imagine we get lucky with that pick as well. 
We do not. We stay at 11. We also have 21 via Denver. That is from the Aaron Gordon trade. And we also have the Magic pick at 19. I believe that is from the Mo Bamba trade as well. So I do want to bring back our coaching staff because they just won us a championship. LeBron is an assistant coach right now. I don't know if I'll bring him in. Steve Nash still there. Chip Engelin. I forget. No, I forgot who my other assistant coach was. Oh, no. Who was it? Oh, it was Wyatt Zimmerman, right? I believe that's what his name was. Boom. Let's sign him. And then we probably want to bring back Kuba Gooding uh, if he is there. And he is. So we're going to look to sign him. And we don't or we get everybody but. Okay, so I'm going to not sign Kuba Gooding. And then let me go out and sign Zimmerman now. And then I can also get Kuba Gooding. I don't know why it says I can't afford some of these guys sometimes. So, uh, ooh, we didn't get Kuba Gooding. Damn. Uh, he, all right. Wow. That, that does hurt. He didn't decide to resign with us. So we're getting Henry Porter instead. So we do have the 11th overall pick on the NBA draft. And I mean, like, I don't know. Do I use the pick or do I trade the pick? I think we have three first round picks. So what I might do is trade 19 and 21 for a future first. Like who, I don't know which team I should target. Maybe the Suns, maybe the Pacers again. I don't know. I think we'll target the Suns and hope they, ah, they do have Cade and D-Book. So we'll do the Bucks instead um, yeah, they're 20, 28, and 20, 29 first for these two first, and let's do that. So I will be making my selection at 11, auto-generated draft, first time in this rebuild. And we took a guy by the name of Leandro, Leandro Aguilar. He's a 73 overall, 22-year-old small forward from Puerto Rico, okay. Team player options, bringing back Kent Dill Brown, the finals MVP, Humley Hatfield, and DJ Carton. Hey, those Bucks picks could be something if Giannis does leave. So qualifying offers... Whoa, we got a lot. So Cam Thomas, Kofi Cockburn, we'll get it. Juju Murray, I mean, he's an 82. Sure, we'll give him the qualifying offer. Same with uh, Dayron Sharp. How much money is, what's his name getting out there? Isaac does not have an offer, but he wants $33 million. Do we give him the max? I don't know. I don't know. So at this current moment, how many guys do we have on, like, that can play in our rotation? Three, six, seven. Um, Aguilar could be eight, but we'll say seven. I mean, we bring back Isaac, that's eight, and we bring back one of the centers, that's nine. So I might let Cam Thomas walk and just go all in on, uh, Mikey Williams. I mean, he's been a great player for us, though, but, like, I feel like Mikey Williams has that superstar potential. So what we're gonna do is, I'm, I don't know, we're gonna see what's going on with, uh, I'm going to renounce the rights on G. Eh, we don't have to renounce it on Juju Murray. Let me just see if uh, Isaac gets a deal. Okay, he's got nine offers. None are real yet. Now he's got 13 offers, and the Nets are a real one. Three-year, 113. You know what? I got to bring back Isaac. He is the longest tenured Magic at this current moment, and we got to reward him with a five-year contract. I will front-load it. If he doesn't like it, he doesn't like it, but we're going to give him 33 mil, five-year deal. And we'll give him a player option on the last year. Does he accept that deal? Kofi Cockburn's going to take a deal from the Nuggets. Oh, Isaac accepts another offer. Damn. Okay. So I'm not giving Cockburn 33 million a year. Um, Isaac, we're going to wait a little bit on. But that is a shame that he decides to sign with the Brooklyn Nets. He's taking his talent elsewhere. That is a shame. So uh, we are going to look to bring back Dayron Sharp on the qualifying offer to be the backup center. And then, yeah, we'll just maybe get Cam Thomas back on the qualifying offer. He could be our sixth man next year if we want to start Mikey Williams and see how that goes. Uh, I mean, how tall is Mikey Williams? Because who's going to be... No, yeah, it'll be 3, 4, or Daron Sharp will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then uh, number 9 will be Cam Thomas. So, this is pretty much over, and uh, yeah, Darren Fox is still here. Like, if I offered him... I mean, I have $33 million in cap, but I'm not going to go after any of these guys. Uh, we could next year, definitely. So, Daron Sharp, we're going to pick him up on the qualifying offer team with Juju Murray and Cam Thomas. So it is a shame that Jonathan Isaac is gone. It's a new era here in Orlando after we won a championship. And let's see if the youngins like Humley Hatfield, DJ Wagner, Mikey Williams, and like Kendall Brown can get us another ring. But I mean, losing the defensive player of the year, the like four straight defensive player of the year, he's won four in a row, it hurts. So here is the nine-man rotation, Fultz, Williams. How tall is Williams? 6'4". Kendall Brown, Brandon Humley Hatfield, Wendell Carter Jr. with a bench of Cam Thomas, DJ Wagner, DJ Carton, and Daron Sharp. I just want to see who's a free agent at the end of the year and it is do we have any big ones so cam thomas will be a free agent kendall brown we're gonna have to pay him a lot of money carton okay yeah we will have some free agents at the end of the year and we didn't need jonathan isaac we were the one seed in the eastern conference at the end of uh the season bay fault didn't play last year i guess he's your rookie of the year uh this season we see a 
couple former Magic Mo Bamba drew six men of the year in Dallas and Isaac wins defensive player of the year again. And he averages a career high in points, free throw percentage, field goal percentage. That hurts a lot. Brandon Humley Hatfield, though, most improved. Guess we didn't really need Isaac too much. I mean, he was really good, but uh, obviously we value Isaac's defensive ability. And Chauncey Bobes finally gets a Coach of the Year award. Uh, just no rookie second team looks very light. No rookie first team very light. Do we see any Orlando Magic? And we get Kendall Brown on all NBA second team. He was really freaking efficient. True shooting percentage of 68%. And the Nets did not make the playoffs. We're taking on these Celtics in round one. Here's what their team is looking like. They do not have Jalen Brown anymore. And then let's just take a look at the stats throughout the season. Brown, but in scoring, followed by Helmy Hatfield. There's Mikey Williams, 50, 40, 90 for him. Cam Thomas, 50, 40, 90, damn. DJ Wagner, 15 points, four assists off the bench, 44 from three. Fultz, 11 assists and 15 points. Very nice. Wendell Carter Jr., 13 and 11, 61 from the field. And there's Dayron Sharp and DJ Carton. Carter was very efficient and sharp. You know what? Got the job done. So let's simulate the playoffs. Can we go back to back? I feel like we're good enough. We went 61 and 21. We are going to go to the NBA Finals and win. Oh my God. The Eastern Conference semis and the Eastern Conference Finals. As I'll interrupt myself, Kendall Brown, second straight finals MVP. We won in seven. Wow. And then we beat the Grizzlies in six, who we beat last year as well. Here were the playoff stats, and yeah, at the end of year six, we have now won two rings. So we have three guys entering the Hall of Fame, Curry, Lillard, and Paul George. Um, Clay does not make it to the Hall of Fame. We are going to reject all of these. And league expansion, we will approve of it, and we'll see who the new team is going to be. It's the National Stars. Sure, we can... Uh, yeah, I'm good with this uh, realignment there. We could throw the Wizards in the Atlantic Division. Just one expansion team. Kind of weird, right? So uh, let's see. Do we have any picks here? We do not. And the Nashville Stars are going to be picking at five. We have our first round pick in the draft at 31. We have an odd number of teams in the NBA now. Kind of weird. So we will now have to protect some players. Let's see who we might lose. Oh, can I protect? Oh, release at one player. Well, Leandro... Aguilar, that does suck because he's probably going to get drafted. Vucevic at age 35 getting drafted. Please don't take Aguilar, please. Let's go. Aguilar does not get drafted. That's what I'm talking about. So um, NBA draft, we have the 31st pick. Let's see who we end up with. And we got Leon Madsen. He is a 21-year-old small forward out of UConn. And we got Brendan Cartwright, a 6'9 power forward, 20 years old, 69 overall out of Santa Clara. So we will be giving, I guess, Juju, Daron Sharp, Kendall Brown, and DJ Carton the qualifying offers. And we'll see who we want to re-sign. I mean, Luka's unrestricted and we have the money. Oh, man. I would love Luka. But does he fit our team at all? We have DJ Wagner, Fultz, Kendall Brown. He doesn't fit our team. Like, I would love him. Chad Holmgren's restricted. Aiden would be nice, too. I mean, Wendell Carter Jr. is what? I'm guessing a free agent next year. Yeah. So if I could save all this money for just one more year, would be nice. So let's see if Kendall Brown is going to... Oh, he's got seven offers. Damn. Okay. So, yeah. We're going to have to match that deal. We will renounce the rights on... I guess Cam Thomas, he's probably gone. I don't really need to spend money on him. And let's see what happens. So, Kendall Brown, we are going to match that four-year deal. Very nice. And we will hopefully just get back Sharp and Carton and Juju Murray on the qualifying offer. So, like, at the moment, yeah, I guess, like, Aguilar could play or we could choose to play Juju Murray because I'm sure that most of these guys will not get 32 mil or 21 mil a year. So, who did Luca sign with? The Mavericks, a four-year deal. I would have loved to go after Luca, but I really... Oh, no! No. I just did that, didn't I? I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate this game. Why does it auto renounce the rights on players? Why? Why does it do that to me? It's so annoying. Okay, so if I offered you a one-year deal, um, hopefully you, you're insulted. Of course you're insulted. Oh, please, DJ Carton, do not tell me you're going to be insulted by this offer. That is actually so annoying. Why would it auto do that? All right, we should get DJ Carton, and we'll get Juju Murray back. So uh, can I trade Juju Murray for just a center? That's what I got to do. And we're going to get Harry Giles on a first-round pick for him? Yeah, I guess Harry Giles could be our backup center next year. All right, so here is the starting five, same as last year. The bench will look a little bit different. DJ Wagner, DJ Carton is still there. Um, Yeah, DJ Wagner, DJ Carton. I don't know why I'll show DJ for him, but I guess because of the, uh, the periods in between the letters. And then we got Leandro Aguilar making his NBA debut. And then Harry Giles uh, will wrap out the rotation. So this is a proficiency under Chauncey Billups' four-star balance. Let's see if we can go for the three-peat this year. So at the end of the year, Jalen Suggs wins MVP. He's been in the uh, the league for a little bit. Francis Banks is your rookie of the year. Hey, he's on the Nashville Stars. DJ Wagner, six men of the year, 19 points and six assists. 53-42, 98 points. 93 overall. Isaac, defensive player of the year again. <laughs> uh, he wins it again. Daron Sharp. Oh my God. In his first year, not on the uh, Magic, he averages 19 and 15. 
That's kind of absurd. We get Coach of the Year again, and we still can't get Executive of the Year. That is annoying. Kendall Brown, All-NBA First Team. Let's go. He shoots 59 from the field and 46 from three. Or wait, was that 46 from three or am I tripping? That was, uh, yeah, 46 from three. Isaac, All-NBA Second Team. Nafali Dante there as well. Okay. And then All-NBA Third Team. Hey, Brandon Huntley Hatfield is there. He will be a free agent. He'll be making a lot of money. So, uh, yeah, no more Orlando Magic. Let's see who we're facing in round one. The Charlotte Hornets. They got Jalen Green and Jonathan Kuminga with Lamella Ball, Michael Porter Jr. And Juju Murray Revenge Series. Taking a look at the stats, Brown and Humley Hatfield look like are the top two guys. Like these are the top four right there. Uh, Wendell Carter Jr. will be a free agent. I might look to re-sign him. Fultz. Mm, I kind of want to, like, before Wagner's a free agent, like, start him next year. So that could be the case. And then there's Lewis a or Leonardo, Leandro Aguilar. Not bad as a rookie. Not too bad. And then there's DJ Carton, shot 43 from downtown. And then there's Harry Giles. So can we win our third straight NBA championship? We beat the Hornets in round one, but lose to the Pistons in round two. And the Spurs sweep the Pistons. Suggs wins MVP and finals MVP. BJ Boston averaged 29 in the playoffs, 34 a season ago. Isaiah Jackson, eh, he's been all right. Maybe it's been working out better than Cam Thomas for me. I wonder how Cam Thomas did this year, though. I got to find out what team he was on. Ross, Katie, Harden, all heading to the Hall of Fame. Maybe Jimmy gets it. Uh, we'll see if anybody else, but I doubt it. Yeah, yeah, like DeRozan doesn't even get it. Or Jimmy, okay. Wow, DeRozan doesn't even get his jersey retired by the... Uh, by the Thunder, or excuse me, by the Thunder, by the Raptors. That is rough, fat because I was looking at Katie's thing. But uh, yeah, he doesn't. Katie doesn't get his jersey retired by the Warriors, and Harden ended up back on the Rockets. That is funny. So we have the fourth overall pick in this draft from the Indiana Pacers. But to look at that, so do I want to trade the pick or do I want to use the pick? This is where, like, I mean, like, if Fultz, Four, and Madsen can get me a stud center. Jackson Hayes, not probably the stud I want. Simmons at center, I don't know. Uh, I'm getting some 90 overalls, so Nekka Kungu would be nice. I was just looking around, bam, like, but I kind of want to keep riding with uh, Wendell Carter Jr. as it is his video, pretty much. Uh, or not his video, oh, I can get cat, that'd be so sick. But like, he's the reason, or he was the player we got back for Vucevic and that kind of sparked this rebuild. So I'm just going to make my selection at four. And he's a 73 overall. Oof. Okay. So uh, we ended up with Leroy Conley at 30 and Burke Christie with the last pick in the NBA draft. Team player options. Going to pick him up on everybody. Okay. Booker free agent. Wiseman free agent. Qualifying offers. Homie Halffield's going to get that. And I don't think I have money to go after like a Nikola Jokic, correct? Yeah. We only have like 17 mil. Wiseman would have been amazing, but we're going to look to bring back Wendell Carter Jr. on a three-year deal and that's pretty much our core going forward any other free agents homie Hatfield, i will match whatever he gets and i don't know if i would have enough money for dj cartoon but yeah homie Hatfield takes a deal from the rockets we are going to match that so we bring back our front court i know i probably should just pay jonathan isaac at the end of it so we have three six seven eight guys for next year i would like to sign dj cartoon one more time uh i don't know how much he's gonna cost i also want to see how cam thomas did next year but dj carton how much will he cost me 15 mil i can give you 10 mil um he declines that so we might have to wait till the last day of free agency and like i said i want to see how cam thomas said last year was he good at all he was on the new york knicks and he was all right all right so it's almost the last day of free agency here and i'm going to look to sign dj carton i don't know if he's gonna be any bit cheaper and what he want 10 mil a year because i'd lock him up for that but it sucks that we don't have bird rights on him uh, maybe I should have locked him up to an extension a while ago. So would he accept that four-year deal? He still declines it. So we'll just wait till the last day. Uh, day 11. Actually, we'll wait one more day. Day 12. And now let's see if we can sign him. Like, Devin Booker hasn't signed. DJ Carton, just take a deal from me. Please, you won't regret it. I'll just do a one-year deal because I, I think that's the only way. Ah, he might accept a four-year deal there. Player option on the last year. What? He declines that? Okay, what about that deal? Um, straight up one year. Okay, so he'll sign that deal. Okay, so this is going to be the starting five. Wagner, Williams, Brown, Humley, Hatfield, and Carter Jr. The bench is Fultz, Carden, Aguilar, and Feldler. The system proficiency is going to be four-star balance. And I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Hopefully, we can get back on track and win another race. So we end the season as the one seed once again. All the former Magic are just shining. Cole Anthony wins six man of the year. Isaac, defensive player of the year. Cameron Barnes, most improved. Billups gets coach of the year again. And we finally get exactly of the year. Brandon Humley Hatfield, BHH, he is a stud. 98 overall on All-NBA first team. No Kendall Brown. No, he does make it on All-NBA third team. Very nice. 
And then do we see any more magic? We do. We do. Ben Feldler on all rookie second team. I'll take it. Here are the stats. Homie Hatfield stud. Wagner, he's up to a 95 overall. Fultz wants like 30 million. We're probably going to move on from him. He is 30. Uh, end of an era with Fultz leaving. Carter Jr. is going to be like the only OG magic on this team, which is a shame at this point. But we're taking on the Raptors here in round one. We'll take a look at their team. They got Sabonis there. Cool. Hero Dinwiddie. You know what? We're simulating the playoffs and we're winning it all again. I, I just feel lucky about this. We sweep round one. We win in five in round two and the Pistons keep beating us. Why? Why is Detroit keep beating us? And it was a rematch from last year. Pistons beat the Spurs. Do we have any random first round picks? We do. We have picked seven from Milwaukee. We also have picked 30. That's what I traded my first round picks a couple years ago as uh, Wyatt Zimmerman is one of the worst. Eh, he doesn't, eh, his haircut's not great. So yeah, like Marco Fultz is leaving. So we could look to draft a, another point guard. I mean, DJ Corton I'd like to bring back, but I don't think we're going to get bird rights on him. So I'm going to take Homer Hodges. Sure. 19 year old. Be great. I'll take it. So we ended up with... Homer Hodges, he's a 74 overall. Brandon Jackson, 71 overall. And Luke Chen, 65 overall. Jackson from Georgia. Hodges from Fresno State. And Lu Chen from China. So we're picking up the options on all these guys because why not? It's not like we're going to have really much cap space anyway because we got to pay these two players and they're going to get a lot of money. And I, I want this to be the backcourt. What? I think we have two more years, correct? Yep, we have two more years left of this rebuild and I want to win at least one more ring. Fultz. Thank you for what you did for us, but it is the end of an era. Uh, we're going with Mikey Williams and DJ Wagner for the future. So we're going to just offer them five-year deals, 28 mil, even though it's backloading. Not that bad. Not that bad. And Mikey Williams, 26 mil, five-year deal. Not that bad either. We get Mikey Williams and let me get DJ Wagner. Come on. Let me get DJ Wagner. Boom. I would like to bring back um, DJ Cartoon, but I'm going to look to sign Ayo Sunu to a two-year deal and he'll be the backup point guard for the rest of this video. So I don't need DJ Carton anymore. So this is going to be the starting five. DJ Wagner, Mikey Williams, Kendall Brown, Huntley Hatfield, and Wendell Carter Jr. The bench isn't great. It isn't great, but I'm hoping that this team, just based off its starting five alone, can win us a ring this year and get back on track. So we were the one seed this year. It's Jalen Suggs signed with Portland, winning MVP uh, for them. But yeah, we were the one seed again, but can we actually win it all? Because it hasn't happened in the last two years. Isaac in Portland. How many straight defensive player of the years has Jonathan Isaac won? Oh my god, eight straight. That is actually absurd. Phillips gets coach of the year. You love to see that. BHH all NBA first team. Do we see Kendall Brown on second team? Yes, we do. And we see Kendall Brown on all defensive second team. Very nice. And Homer Hodges on all rookie first team. So we are taking on the Cavs in round one. Just taking a look at the scoring this year. BHH, absolute stud. Could have won MVP. Uh, Kendall Brown, very efficient as usual. DJ Wagner, 22 and 7. Mikey Williams, 20 and 5, basically. And then there's the rest of the squad. Wendell Carter Jr. is still being really good for us at age 30. So can we beat the Cavs and go on to round two? Uh, they got Sexton, Cam Reddish, Paul Banchero, Andrew Wiggins back in Cleveland. So let's see what happens here against the uh, Cavs. We beat them in five. Now taking on the Celtics. They got JD. They got BJ. They got Tatum, Bagley, Allen. Uh, a couple Duke players there. Ignis Brzezakis. Iggy's there. Isak Bonga. Luther Bush. And can we beat the Celtics? Yes, we can. The Pistons didn't make the playoffs this year. Okay. So we are one Raptors series away from going back to the NBA Finals for the first time in like three years. And we sweep them. Now, the Blazers have been very good in this video. Oh, they got John Moran and Jalen Suggs. And Jonathan Isaac. Okay. Um, and Carl Kongwu. All right. We might be screwed. Game one, we lost. Game two, we win. Game three, we lose. Game four, we lose. And game five, we end up losing in five. That team is too good. And we have the 12th pick in this draft from the Magic 18 from Charlotte. So I ended up drafting Jamie Foxx. <laughs> That's funny. At uh, pick 12, Carlos Lopez at 71, Alan Novak at 30, and Michael Holloway at uh, the last pick of the draft, 51. Oh, no, that would be 61. We'll pick up the team option, everybody. It's not like I'm going to have any cap space in free agency. We'll give Leandro Aguilar the qualifying offer. Definitely want to bring him back. He'll be in our rotation next year. And then we are good to go after I do that. Sweet. So who did Fultz play for last year? The Dallas Mavericks. Okay. And Isaac, he signed with Tor uh, Toronto, actually. Goes to Portland, gets another ring, and it looks like he's going to get 35 mil a year, possibly, from a new team. We'll see. All right, so here is the team. DJ Wagner, Michael, or Mikey Williams. I do want to give uh, Williams a couple more minutes, actually. And then we got uh, Kendall Brown, BHH, and Wendell Carter Jr. with a bench of Homer Hodges, Leandro Aguilar, Ben Felder, and Ayo Dusunmu. And then we also actually have um, a 10-man rotation going with Jamie Foxter. System efficiency under 
Chauncey Wells, for the 10th and final year. I just want to win it all in the last season. Let's hope we can. And we finished the video, the 10-year rebuild, with Brandon Hunley Hatfield getting MVP. That's why we moved on from Jonathan Isaac. So this man can flourish. 29 and 13, two assists. Absolute stud. How tall is he? He's 6'10". Damn, absolute beast. Giannis ending the video in LA. Luke Walton, coach of the year. Who won 70 games? What? I guess it was the Sacramento Kings. Jalen Johnson, Imani Bates, Sekou Duboya, Chet Holmgren, Patrick Williams, Randall Wood, Vanderbilt. Yeah, they won 70 games. We're taking on Atlanta in round one. I mean, I just want to go to the championship. So what I usually do, I mean, we'll take a look at the stats. We had four guys score 20 plus. Okay. All right. I'm just going to hop right into it. I'm going to go right here. I'm going to press simulate playoffs. I'll be right back. Please tell me we won. Please, you can still hear me. Please tell me we won. Please, please, please. Let's go. We win it all. Oh, and I'm probably really blurry right now. But let's break it go. We end the 10 year rebuild off on a great note. DJ Wagner wins finals MVP. We go 12 and 3 in the playoffs. And yeah, we ended up with our third ring of the video. I'm just glad we ended on a strong note. That's what I'm talking about. So yeah, we just did 10 seasons. We won three championships. We went to four. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the 10 year new look magic rebuild by dropping a thumbs up. Can we get 3000 likes on this video? And if you're still watching at this point, I really appreciate that. So yeah, thank you for watching. I love you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the 10 year rebuild. You guys showed great support on the Hornets and Warriors one. So I can keep doing them if you guys want to see that. And yeah, thank you for watching. I love you guys. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.